Hi, my name is Isabella Alba, and today I'm going to be talking about a news article from Fox News that talks about um, Shannon Bream's new book called The Mothers and Daughters of the Bible. This book isn't directly um, a description of the gospel. It's not um, directly promoting Christianity, but it is talking about the Bible and the woman in the Bible. Um, Shannon Bream is a news anchor, news anchor for Fox News, and I think presenting in this book and talking about this book on air as well as an article online was a great way to advertise the book. I think she's in a great position to be able to sell this and um, to make it make like the public aware of it. So I think that was a great idea in order to um, bring it to the news. Um, the book, The Mothers and the Daughters of the Bible, I think presenting this narrative um, is very unique in the sense that you are talking about Christian values and Christian views, but you're presenting it to a secular audience. Well, secular and Christian based on like whoever is listening, but it's not just Christian she's presenting this to. So I think it would be really important to start off with why she wrote the book, um, what makes her qualified to write this book, um, explaining to the public or the audience um, just genuinely what got her to writing the book and her thoughts behind it and her motives behind it and what she wanted out of this book. What were the goals after a reader re um, read the book? Um, there wasn't much talked about in the video. There was more in depth in the article about like what the book is and um, what the reader would be getting by purchasing this book. But I think it would be really important to give a full description of it beforehand. Um, they really focused on the parallel she made in the book between Ukraine war and what um, the woman from the Ukraine war and what Mary went through in the Bible. There is like a whole section based on contents of this article. There's a whole section about the parallel between those two. And I think just based on um, our lesson from this week, I think she needed to tell her story. I think it would be so beneficial for her to um, develop her story of the book by knowing herself, communicating clearly, and illustrating the point in just like the idea of the Ukraine war. She's really pushing a narrative, or the news article was really pushing a narrative to make it relevant to Ukraine. And I think it would really benefit like shaping this narrative in a way that is telling the audience about herself and um, her being able to communicate it clearly and illustrate what points were made. Um, I think it's important to make it genuine to herself and not bring politics in and not really harp on politics, but more of what the context of the book is and how that applies to day to day and how um, what the reader would get out of that reading that book. Um, because at the end of the day, this was this is almost an ad. It is presenting this new product or this new material to their audience and trying to sell it they, the best they can in order for them to want to go out and purchase that. And I think a lot of telling her story and telling why she went into this journey is really important and would help push that narrative along more. I think there was just a... There's so many more bases that a reader would want to know before going into this book that um, could have been hit. And I think she has a lot to say. And she describes how she interviews missionaries and um, other people for this book. And I believe pushing that narrative and describing like who she's interviewing and who the book is going to touch on is a really great way to sell this book and to really push the narrative of um, people wanting to buy it. And I think that the book is a great concept. I think she sold that amazingly and something that I have not seen before and really bold of her to take it to, um, a secular world and to take it that far and to let her voice be heard. And that's the way I would 
form this narrative.